In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Attach Photos or Files post add-on. So after you create your post, you will click Attach Photos or Files. Then you're going to go onto your computer and find your pictures. I'm going to pause a second while I do this. Now that I've selected some pictures, I do have the option to edit them, to crop them, clean them up a little bit if I want to. Usually I don't. You can upload up to 50 pictures to one post. Usually 30 or 40 works well. When you get up to 50, that's it might slow down things a little bit. Now, once it's attached to the pictures, they're on the bottom here. So I can add captions to the pictures if I like. Now, you can also put pictures in your message, and you would do that using the insert image option. But I would only put a couple up here. Down here is where you want to add a bunch of pictures. So now that I have the pictures, everything is set. I can also add a file. So I can click Upload Files. And I'm going to put in a newsletter just so you can see what it looks like. Upload. And there's also my, my, newslet, uh, my welcome letter. So I'll scroll back and I'll hit Post Now. I'm just doing this as an example, so my parents aren't going to actually get this message. They've already gotten it. Once I have posted it, then the pictures will show on the bottom. And then when a parent opens them, they can flip through the pictures. And then also a PDF just shows up as a PDF link that they can open it if they want. And then they can also download it if they want to. Whenever you create a post, with files or pictures, it does put it, let me go back here, it goes over under the photos area as well, and any files shows up under files. So your parents can go back and see those at any time. If you need more help with this, click on the question mark, and then help articles, and then type in photos and files.